So for the past several hours, a lot of players have been reaching out to me and asking me the same question. Why did I decide to craft the Storm art first, but not the Thunderbolt art for my cleric? And for these videos, I am going to cover the differences between the Storm art and Thunderbolt art and how to take advantage of the string and weaknesses. So starting off with my build real quick. My build is Exorcist, Crusader, and Jewel. Exorcist and Jewel has a very strong motivated ability as well as AoE ability. That's include Rubik's, Katika Sword, and Dance Aqua. For Jewel, it's all about grass and spamming thorn. These abilities are really good because they do multi-hit and AoE. So with that, I can capitalize these storms effects, which is casting lighting every single time as a certain chance. And it hit up to 7 target and that is really good in my opinion. Now keep in mind that Thunderbolt Art is extremely good for single target damage because it does over 4000% skill scaling. However, there are certain classes that is pretty strong in both AoE and single target damage, and that is Sadu. Sadu has a very specific area burst skill such as the Astro Body Explosions, Out of Bodies, Vashita, and Possession. All these skills can easily hit 10 mil damage cap. As for the other class like Plat Doctor, Plat Doctor has a very unique playstyle between the support and the DPS. For example, skills like Black Death Stream and Incinerations is quite strong for single target damage and it does a lot of multi hit, but the scaling is way too weak. Players can either use Storm Art to spread more damage with DOT damage or Thunderbolt Art for higher single target damage. It also depending on which specific content that you're focusing on as well. Another example would be the Inquisitor class. Inquisitor skills are both strong in single target and AoE damage. However, this class has a very long cooldowns and heavily depending on a very specific attribute to lower the cooldown every time breaking will and river kill any monster. Now, because Inquisitor already has a strong AoE capability, your character doesn't even need Storm Art to help out with the damage, but instead you can just use Thunderbolt Art to help breaking wheels or Reaper to kill monster faster and lower the cooldown. But yeah, there are a lot of combinations between a Storm Art and Thunderbolt Art, it's just that it had to be depending on which specific content that you're running on. So right now, my main focus is getting the weekly, raid, uh, weekly boss raid done as soon as possible because I don't even care about ranking. I would love to but I can't <laughs> and then uh, as you can see here I already did 2 run and I got 3 billion damage already so my main focus is getting 5 build is really easy straight up I don't have to spend a lot of time thinking okay what strategy should I be using what mechanics should I be using to deal with this boss because right now it's mutant type so I better off using Miko to reduce the critical resistance or Plat Doctor to reduce critical resistance or perhaps using the third bar to gain more damage and you can see here Dungeons, Legendary, Earth Towers, Morning Pony, Urbana, these are very easy contents. You don't need to spend a lot of time on these. And this can only be done 5 times a week. However, Challenge Mode can be done a lot of time in a day because of Challenge Mode reset. Look at that. I have like 104. Not to mention the fact that we are getting a ton of reset from the event. The Flex Buck event. That is huge. This is huge. So basically right now, I'm trying to capitalize my resources into farming powder, silver, and vibora. So in the future update, one week when I get the buff for the storm art, I can do more damage, as well as upgrading this storm art into level ten. Level ten storm art costs a lot of powders. God of Flesh gems, oh my god, you name it. God of Flesh gem, Mr. Tumbage. This is just not for storm art. It's for any art. So to make a short storm art for farming, thunderbolt art for single target or maybe bossing. Now, another thing you want to use Thunderbolt Art is because the Fuel Ball. You want to do a lot of damage so your body can get some ranking on the Goddess Grace. So this way they can earn more silver. However, the problem here right now is that the Fuel Balls take a full 5 hours to kill. Because not a lot of players are doing Fuel Balls. And the majority of the players right now is in the Grove server. So that's another problem. So we gotta wait like until November until IMC merged the both server together. Alright boys. Before we go further into this video, I do want to shout out to all the players, which includes Shikaru, Avenger, Pink Blossoms, as well as Kamboyana, for coming out today and helping me making these videos. So let me go ahead and introduce their build real quick. Oh yeah, for this team composition, it's pretty straightforward. Three main DPS, one flag user, and one healer. For the flag user, it's pretty straightforward. Enchanter, Koshir, and Thaumaturs. Along with the more important pistols that give you extra scorched skills, which is really nice for the extra fever damage buff. And then for the Deputy Oracle Priest Healers, which is Kamboyana. Kamboyana has a ridiculously, ridiculously amount of gears. Look at that. Everything is 
purple and green two purple and two green and that's it that's huge not to mention the fact that this person is also has excuse me block evasion con xbr with the Connor's healing set and that's it that's just freaking good and then for adventures adventure is actually using a very very standard musket bills musket falconer tiger hunters and that is really good this person also has a really good musket plus 16 muskets along with really good anchors and then for pink blossoms pink blossom is actually using this standard swordsman's dps bills which include blossom players barbarian and doppler now his gear is not as good as all the players however do not underestimate his bills because blossom player does a lot of damage even though he doesn't have a really good anchor like i said blossom blader does a lot of damage he also have a full dragon roll passive set by the way and that is really good all right boys we are going into stage seven so let me get bubba bro quick quick damage right here and watch this look at that so many lines so much damage keep in mind that my party has two single target dps builds i know blossom blader does aoe as well but it's not as much as uh, the majority of the source build this is really good look at that and look at the bar for cm it's filling up really fast all this damage is coming out now let's let's not forget that i have a flag user as well as an oracle divinity healer builds in my party so they also boost the damage for my uh, storm for my excuse me for my storm art as well it's freaking amazing we already have way done with stage sevens let's go ahead and prop everything here holy smash thorn go ahead and use katigazor for extra aoe and more thunder procs look at that that is huge this is huge we already almost ended here and it's already one minute in this is pretty insane in my opinion keep in mind that we don't have the korean versions of storm art yet the korean version does around 3000 damage skill scaling and that is huge because right now we only have 1450 percent 250 percent is coming from level 5 keep that in mind this is pretty good now we are going to get into the boss real quick oh this one is pretty easy this one is the thorn weavers i believe he does the pretty decent amount of damage as well so let's go ahead and pop everything here we should be able to get him really quick look at that all right boys let's see what we got nothing still no primus <laughs> that is so sad <laughs> Thank you. 